What you're seeing here is dedication. This is how I rigged the camera to get these shots in the red light area of Osaka, ran by the Japanese mafia. So this is pretty much where you come if you're looking for some company in Osaka. As you can see, it's just these little, you know, single shop units with one girl and one mama-san in there hanging out with her. Uh, totally strange, weird, and foreign to me because I'm used to the Patia style of kind of going in to, you know, a soy sick style place where when you walk in, there's 10, 20, 30 beautiful young ladies to choose from. And I thought that this was kind of strange. First of all, you see the lady, the old lady sitting there, which is totally uninviting and uh, uncomfortable, you know? I mean, to me, what you want is your customer to be as comfortable as possible. Now, the girls were very, very beautiful, but the whole situation was just so strange of, uh, you know, this window shopper window, you know, it feels like you're going shopping in a department store or, you know, a Beverly Hills where you're window shopping, checking out these different shops and then um, going in, you know, to do your thing. Uh, just not really for me, but, um, you know, hey, the flip side is you can go up, check them out, kind of have some small talk with the girls. I did. I did go up when I wasn't filming. Uh, like I said, I'm on the bicycle on this. This is strictly just to get this footage, guys. Um, I think it came out super cool. That's why I'm leaving some of the, uh, like this stuff right here in just for you guys to check out. It's just a cool visual to watch. But what was I saying? Um, yeah, you know, you just, you go up here, you can make a little small talk with the girl and they do kind of rush to get straight to the point. They're like, come in. They pull out a menu, like, you know, uh, like how they do in Thailand where they show you the massage menu of all the prices and stuff like that. They do that here as well with the uh, price and the time that you get. Now, again, some of these girls were very, very beautiful. Um, I went a night before and they were wearing like sports jerseys that were, you know, crop tops that were showing like the bottom of their breast. Very, very sexy. Um, yeah, they were all, the, the thing about the Japanese girls is they have this like cute culture. So a lot of them just look like little dolls. So not much personality compared to like when you're dealing with Thai girls who are going to be cracking jokes hitting you, you know, being playful, jumping up and down, dancing, singing, all that stuff. Don't expect too much of that over here. Uh, this is more kind of pick your beautiful Asian doll and uh, have your little experience. So I would probably expect, eh, I mean, you know, I wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't put it, you wouldn't surprise me if you said you went here and got and found yourself a uh, dead fish, you know. A little sushi, a little Japanese sushi, so to speak. But anyway, guys, this is uh, Tobita Sinchi. Your boy put his life on the line once again, going up against the Yakuza, the Japanese mafia. GP once again comes out victorious. <laughs> Even the bosses couldn't take your boy down. <laughs>